going on. <clears throat> it's another haul video. It's a little early to be making a video, but it's like four in the morning. <laughs> uh, I woke up. So, we'll go through the some stuff. I was supposed to do this about eh, four hours ago. Got tired. Didn't upload the video. Didn't make the video. So, here we are now. Gonna make the video. Um, let's cover our grounds on what we did. We hit four church sales. It was raining. So subjected to everything indoors um, no garage sales it's pretty dead um, so we hit like four church sales and an estate sale at the end of the day and then wrapped it up called it a day I did hit a thrift store at the very end but didn't really find anything so all right let's get into the stuff and um, we did okay could have did better, um, but I don't dictate what's out there, so I just pick through what's out there, so, um, yeah, here we go. So this is the, the hall, that'd be all this. All this was, I want to say a hundred, <clears throat> but I think it was a little less because I got some gas and uh, I got a sandwich and a coffee. So I think it was like, I think it was like 80 or 90. Um, I think 90. I tried adding it all up again, but I couldn't really figure it out because I paid a lot of dollars for a lot of stuff. Actually, some stuff was like 50 cents each. That was kind of good. So, let's get into it. Right. So, five bucks. We got these. Um... I only went on what this price was here because this box is in pretty good condition. Um, these shoes were in the box. Uh, suggested retail, a hundred. Price, seventy-five. Nike Air. They're like golf cleats. Um. You should do pretty good. I'm thinking like 45 bucks on those. Paid five for them. I think it's a good deal. They're in good shape. They're like never used. Could clean them up a little bit. There's a little dust on them. But uh, always look for your Nikes. And, you know, know your brands. Um, not one to buy golf shoes, but new in the box. Put a little stuffing in there, they'll look brand new. So, that's good. Um, I got that at a church sale. Same thing with this radio. So, I didn't look up comps on that. I'm sure it's going to comp out at 40, 45. This thing comps out at like 10 or 20 bucks kind of interesting. It's um, not in great shape. I thought it was going to be a little better because <clears throat> it had a box, but it's missing the, the top piece to the antenna. This is a solar powered radio. Um, it's still in good shape. Um, I think it's still a $10 bill, but it's a good, it's a good survival radio doomsday prepper radio there's no need for batteries so it's kind of cool it's 
taxi and business. All right, so I think I paid two bucks for that. I'm pretty sure I paid two bucks for that. Maybe even a dollar. I don't really remember, but it was like beginning of the week. So I didn't look. I didn't look everything up. Um, we got this Bible. It's new in the box. Um, it's sealed. So we'll we'll comp that out. Probably ten bucks. It's got a skew. Genuine leather. I'm thinking ten bucks on that. Um, we paid ten for these. Um, university books. Um, I'm not, I thought these were yearbooks, but they're not. <clears throat> I don't think they are. Yeah, they don't look like yearbooks. Yeah. They are yearbooks. So, <clears throat> we'll have to put a little investigation into these. So we got a 64, a 65, and a 66 from Michigan State University. 10 bucks, not bad, not bad. Um, Within that, I think I paid 15 for everything. This is at the estate sale. These here, um, 15 for everything. So, uh, the three books. I got this Hilfiger raincoat. Kind of the old style. And this camera. I don't know what this will comp out at. I gotta get this camera to stay a little more still for you guys. Um, no clue what this is gonna comp out at. Ten bucks, something like that. Um, we got these. These are gonna be cool to play around with. Obviously, we'll have to get my computer running a little more to be able to upload videos for these. <clears throat> so these spy classes. Uh, so USB cable box glasses. Instruction manual, cleaning pad. They're not the fanciest looking spy glasses, but we able to get it done. Um, be eager to try and use some of these for some sales. Um, you have to revamp my whole channel on how I conduct um, my videos, though. So, um, but she said. These um, were $40, $50 new, so you should get some charity for them. This is probably the best find. Um, they wanted $25 for this. I offered $10. They took it. Um, it's brand new, mint condition. Um, if it had the seal, would be, this would be a bolo. It's not sealed. So you gotta look for the A1137. It's kinda hard to find without the um figure it out without the box. So this is the nano. It doesn't say one one three seven on it. 
but uh, that's a first gen Nano. That's what it looks like. These sell for uh, this one right here will sell for a hundred. Seen some people having some bidding wars over these. Um, it's it's mint condition. Well, near mint, and uh, it has everything it needs inside. All the paperwork, wires, everything like that. And then we got that book, iPod book. Doing cool stuff with the iPod and iTunes Music Store book. And you got an iPod Nano. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe make a little package deal there. Um, so ten in a buck. This does a hundred. If not, seventy-five. Seventy-five, no problem on the Nano. Um, some CDR writing. Um, Sony, a dollar. Yeah, should be like ten bucks probably. I c couldn't figure out if this was good or not. I gotta look this up again. Um, the AF Tech Ten. It's it's I would say new in the box. Um, it's got the manual at the bottom. For Canon AF. I think I've I think I've sold an AF and and the AF I sold I sold it for like two hundred bucks, so I know AF is good. Um big lens for an AF, I don't know, I figured twenty bucks. I paid five for that. They had they had twenty on it, and I was like, no way am I paying you twenty. Oh, but we want twenty. I said no. No way am I paying you twenty. So we get a receipt in here. That's always good. Yeah. Let's check the receipt. Let's see what this puppy costs now. Holy lordy. Cost two hundred bucks now. And they bought it in ninety six. Ritz Camera Center. Ten day return policy. That's all they had ten days back then. <clears throat> That's nice. Should do good. I don't know. It's a two hundred dollar lens. It should do good. Um I got this sharp. <clears throat> Paid two bucks for this. EL 506A. Uh brand new in the package. It sells for ten ten to fifteen. I thought it would have did more when I found it. I was like, ooh, that looks nice. Um sharp. Sharp makes good brand. Um but it wasn't all that nice. Um still a good calculator. This is this is good for you know job sites job site for foreman figuring some numbers out and stuff like that that's good um <clears throat> these are my favorite that i found got all excited when i found these abandoned autos an annual appreciation of aesthetically abandoned automobiles these are all calendars calendars of old junky Lawn ornaments. Pretty cool. Um, I paid a buck each for these. So we got one. Let's pan out a little. We got one. Two. This one. That's a nice piece of property there. Yeah. A lot 
that snow. Nice. That's what happens when you let kids out playing in your field. You smash the window and then this car goes to shit. Look at this car. Imagine owning that. Huh? That's nice. <clears throat> that looks like it could be restored though. So I wouldn't leave that out in my lawn. But some do. The most do in the south. Um, no, no, no offense to anybody in the south. Just I noticed more cars are abandoned in the south than up here. So we got this. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was buying when I bought this. My wife says, "Oh my god, look at that a a activity set." I'm like, "Activity set? I don't know what the hell an activity set is. I just bought it because it's cool." Oh yeah, that those that's that's nice. So uh they're porcelain. Well, I mean uh not porcelain, they they clay. Um if you add a bell in there they'd be pretty cool. Um but uh I'll show you why I bought these. <laughs> uh this is why I bought these. I think this is probably worth some money. Um five bucks at least on this one piece yes because it is black um i have had this discussion before um i am not racist but that should sell more than this little guy i don't know why it just does um but these guys are cool you know i'm chilling peaceful she's hot and it's mother mary <laughs> uh, yeah mother mary was hot whatever uh, so I, I i like those those are cool i don't know i'm gonna get out of them maybe 10 bucks i'll try and list them online do a little backdrop scenery thing this is a uh atheus That J. E. Matthews cough syrup Marlboro Mass. Paid a buck for it. This is what I got out of the thrift store. Surprisingly, we had some old bottles in the thrift store. It was kind of odd. So yeah, cough syrup. It's not nothing great. Um, no Pontal. No no nothing. It's got lime. Um, it's like a two or two dollar two dollar bottle. Three dollar bottle tops. I wasn't gonna leave it in the uh, <clears throat> thrift store though. <clears throat> this is uh, Clock and Roberts, Boston Mass. Nice and bars. Um, so got a cool label. C and R. Kind of hard to read that C and R. I wouldn't have did that C like that with the point, but. Um, no pontal. It's not that old. It's got a nice hazy glass on it, though. It's a blob. Some sort of blob. It's got some... It's got some air bubbles. It's got some air bubbles. Um, got some nice harsh... Harsh swirl scrape. There from the manufacturer. You know that harsh swirl right there. That's kind of interesting. Bottle looks twisted when made, but still looks straight. It's a good shelf shelf uh, bottle. It's a five bucker, I think, Boston. Boston Mass. That's nice. Oh, 20 minutes in. Wow, you guys are in store for a long video. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> with these Wii Sports, we got this. All these were six bucks. Six bucks for that whole stack. So I couldn't say no. Um, 
It's a power pack for 3DS. Uh, no clue what it's going to do. Ten bucks, maybe. Um, this is empty. <clears throat> the only empty game in the stack. Uh, the $20 game, figures. Um, but this I know I can find when I buy, um, when I buy Wii consoles. Nine, nine times out of ten, but it's either this cart in the console or this cart's in the console anytime you buy one. Um, so finding this disc shouldn't be too hard. So we have a couple of loose. <clears throat> we have a couple of these that are empty that we fish out of the dumpster from GameStop. And uh, then I know all I need is the uh, disc. You can almost buy the disc off eBay and make 10 bucks off this a little easier. Um, but that empty case should sell for 5 bucks if I needed it to. It's complete. I did not look any of these up. Soy Hero. Oh, Spoy Hero. Mini Golf. I know Mini Golf does nothing. Um, Sonic All Star Racing. That might be like a 5. We play. Just playing a sport. It was like 2 or 3 bucks each at trade in. Um, Battle Bay. That's a 8, I think. Um, this is. Probably, I thought this was more, actually. I looked this one up because it said Hudson Soft, so sold a lot of Turbo to know Hudson Soft's good. That one didn't pan out all that much. Sonic Colors. I thought this one was going to be a little more than what it was. Um, it's only 8 bucks for this one. Surprising. And Raven Rabbits and Just Dance. Not the greatest game score haul, but um, for 50 cents each, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six. And she said, yeah, six sounds good. So six bucks for all those. Um, these knives. Um, they're German. I'm not sure if they're Soldier, um, but they're German. Uh, they look like they are. I think it says Soldier. But, uh, I don't know what those will do. I grabbed them because they're knives from Germany. <laughs> Germany's makes really, really good stuff. And I like German stuff. Because it's made with a little quality. So there's that haul. And we got... I can tell you a little bit about some stuff. I was going to do like walk you guys through some of this stuff. but um, So these planers. Some do okay. Some do better than others. Um, this is a number five Stanley. Um, it's a parts buggy. I, I paid like 10 bucks for like this pile of hand tools here. With, that's it, just this pile of hand tools here. Those. And um these should do nothing, really. These two right here, uh, two or three bucks each. This is a number 110 with a bottle cap um, twist. If, uh, I'll make I'll have to make a lot on those. This one was the only one worth anything. This is a low angle. It's a Stanley low angle um, with an adjust with an adjustment, double adjustment. Um, low angle number is G12060. Um, it's got a little rust. It's in okay shape. Um, this new would comp out at 40 to 60. Uh, this one should do about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I'm thinking 25 bucks on that, and I'd probably ship this well. 
like wrap this up good and wrap these up good and try to make no contact and just toss these in with the sail or maybe like the the bottle cap one get rid of this one later something like that i like i like my customers to get a little extra stuff sometimes when it comes to tools because i mean you get them for so cheap rather the customer be happy because they do come back um this number five it's good for parts it doesn't have a blade um i was hoping this was a sweetheart but it didn't have a blade so i can't check it <clears throat> so i don't know what a sweetheart would look like without the blade um so we'll just have to figure that out later but it's still a number five chassis, so that's good. Um, all this Craftsman stuff's a good score. This is, I mean, this is a half inch, half inch drive set. It's not really a set, but it's like all half inch drive parts. Um, all Craftsman, old school, old school Craftsman. Um, this one's got the swivel end. That's good. Um, so with these, I'm thinking 10, 10 bucks on this little setup here. Easy. It's a nice, it's a nice setup. I've showed you guys some stuff like this already. This is like a tap. Put it on like a tap. Yada yada yada. Do some work, 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 work. So all these planers were like fifty cents. You can't beat that. This is fifty cents. Um, you got to look out for these. This draws. This is a one five one. So just this part alone is ten dollars. This uh, metal piece of flange here keeps these bearing these uh, this adjuster in line with the tool. Um, so this is ten dollars on this little part, and then this part's ten dollars. Um, so th this is more valuable within these this little area of parts right here this nuts probably like a couple bucks um these nuts are probably a couple bucks and then so this whole thing complete 25 bucks i think maybe 30 it's in good shape um yeah 50 cents to 30 you like that look out for them draws draws do good this is a common draw you'll find this every flea market you'll find one of these I don't know for 50 cents, but you'll find them. This burns matic uh, People were selling this. This will probably go to the flea market. Regular little utility. That's a couple bucks. This is a number 61 Sweetheart Stanley. That's how you know a sweetheart. It's got the SW underneath the Stanley so this is the the higher end model um, it's got the brass ends the brass ends all brass hardware a lot of work goes into making these rulers um, and these sell for these sell for some pretty good money this one's only like a five I need a tripod to do these videos for you guys. But, pretty cool. I'm gonna try and smash this last five minutes with the rest of this stuff. So, we got this DVD player, this portable. This comps out at like 50 bucks. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it does. Um, we'll probably sell it for 30, maybe 40, and 
just fire it off. Um, always need more headsets or just more electronics we come across. Those are going to be good to have for later. Um, I don't know what the price is on this where It's like a $15 pile or something. These Bushnells. I don't know, 10 bucks on those, I guess. Maybe 15 I gotta look them up. I didn't see no comps, really. There's a couple people selling them, but that, that, that pair just does not do great, I guess. Got a nice stack of Saturday morning cartoons. Um, we already popped one, I have a, one more disc. We already popped that in upstairs. Me and the wife were watching some Galtar and some Monchichi. Um... I got a nice new sold bell from flea market. I'm be pressuring people to buy stuff off this so, so I can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Sold. 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 Alright, that's how we do it. We have a little fun. That's my nice way of getting to harass people. No clue. 50 cents. No clue what this emblem is. No clue what I'm going to do with it. The Sony TV sound weather. Um, it comps out at 25 with a free ship, so 15 with a 10 ship. This Craig Radio, uh, it was a dollar. Behind is a dollar. I could throw it away. I don't care. A dollar. I don't know. I think it was like fifty cents. Yeah. I don't know what this game does. Maybe there's a great game in there. No. Um. And then we got these bits. A couple knives. This knife, it's like all steel. It's kind of weird. It's a nice filet knife. A little paring knife. Put some schlack on that. That'll make that look brand new make it look like you want to use it <laughs> it's a good little pairing though um imperial usa imperial steel and then we got some of these it's good for fixing small electronics and a gauge. So probably a pretty good gauge. Let's see. General number two two six. It's a good one. You never really see this wheel on them. I'm usually missing this wheel. Um, these bits. These are special bits. Um, they go to a, a Yankee screwdriver. The numbered Yankee screwdrivers. I think that they're like, go from, I got, I got one right here, I'll show you what, what it goes to. It's like a drive. It's like a drive screwdriver. It's the Yankee screwdriver. Um, it works awesome. So this, it, it like, I can't, I can't explain it without my other hand. But grab that end, and it, and and it drives like a ratchet. So it's like a ratchet screwdriver. Um, these are. These are collectible. Some people collect them. Um, I collect them <laughs> when I'm buying lots of tools. Um, so Stanley, Yankee, 
It says six eight dash one three one. That's a one thirty one A. That's what this one is. It's a one thirty one A. Some of these can do pretty good in price. Um, you'd be surprised with these self -fill. Some of these self are like 30, 40 bucks. Always look out for your Yankee drives. Some have the uh, compartment up here, like this one has. Has the compartment for the bits. Unscrew this, typically with your thumbnail, and then uh, you can get the. You can get the bits out. That's where you keep all your bits. And these are the bits that would go attached to that. So that's the only reason why I bought these. Because uh, some of these Yankee bits are hard to find. Um, and they pay, I paid five bucks for those bits. That's a lot of money. But, uh, I got these other bits. I don't think any. I mean, there's a couple high speeds in there. Not many high speeds, but this was three bucks. I kind of like the container that it was in. Um, three bucks for all those bits inside this container, which yeah, container is good for a buck or two. Nice tin. Storing stuff in the shop. I paid. My wife said, "You paid two dollars for this." Two dollars. She knows I'm so cheap. It's a Parker. I think it's. I think it's a jewelry tape measure. A jeweler's tape measure. By Parker. Um, there's no way any. Any normal person would use this for uh, woodworking or anything. It's definitely jewelry. Um, always look for these. It's this number 18 Stanley. Um, open. Uh, what do they call this? It's an open square. Something like that. Open box square. I clean this up, I could get 20 bucks for it. Um, I usually give these to my uh, father-in-law, though. He doesn't, like, collect them, but I've given him so many through the years, he basically does collect them. Um, maybe we'll do a tour sometime at his workshop, because um, he's got a very impressive workshop. <laughs> Empty box. was hoping that it was in there. That would do like 10 or 20 if it was in there, but it's not. Um, some screwmate bits that go on like a router. Wood drill countersinks. Stanley. All of them are in there. That's kind of good. I don't know what that comps out at. <clears throat> These are made by Mark's Toys. They're little planers. See, Mark's. Mark's Toy Company. Little, little planer. Very cool. I like collecting little, little, tiny uh, tools. 50 cents each on those. These stuff for like five, ten bucks. These little mini planers. These are kind of beat up, so probably ten bucks for both of them. Marks. And then we got the bullnose. We got a, a number ninety bullnose. Nine zero with a um a bullnose with the screw in the in innard innard hump there's one with a non innard hump screw right here and then this is the innard hump screw so there's two different models of this 90 um, 
this is the lower end of the bullnose on that 90. Um, it works good. Everything moves and functions like it's supposed to. It just looks a little beat up, but this is easily a $40, $50 bull nose. I've sold these before for like hundreds, um, depending condition. Sold a really nice mint condition one for like 100, 200 bucks. They vary. You look this up, you'll be like, huh? It goes from like 300 to 40. All prices vary. You get them for 300, 200, 250, 150. All around the board. Um, and all that dictates is um, functionability, completeness, and cleanliness. Um, cleanliness doesn't pay, play too much of a part in this particular planer, but um, just because it's a rare bull nose. Um, but the cleaner, you get definitely going to get more money for it. Um, but typically a guy's just going to clean this up, give it a bath, sandpaper, all that jazz. So there's the bull nose. Um, and then we have some, uh, Stanley punches. I used to collect punches. I used to have like, uh, 400 punches down to four punches. This is what we got. I'm sure we might have some in these shed, but... These are good ones. Any punches you want, these are the ones you want, I think. These are marked. These are marked Stanley somewhere on the ends. Well, you get the gist of it. And then we got a weird, it was like a wristband wrench. Got this weird wristband wrench. You throw it on your wrist, and then you're ready to wrench it. Yeah, I don't know what this is for. This is kind of a weird pocket tool. I guess a weird pocket tool. Interesting. And a big, huge chisel. It could pan out. It's sharp. Oh, maker. It's hard to read. I can't read it. R-O-B... Rabrinsky? I can't tell. Never heard of that brand, so. Um, and that's about it. Oh, and the glove. It's just catcher's glove. It's a really good one. Um, this is like a pro catcher glove. I can, I, I mean, I don't know why I think that, but I mean... I just, I put my hand in it, and it's, it's like, so hearty. Feels good. Feels good. Um, it looks old. It's Easton. I couldn't find any comps on it, um, but... It's a, it's a good one. I don't know. It's got good, it's got good wear. You get 20 bucks for that, I think. I think it's worth 20. And then we get the Greenlee tester. Bolt meter. Bolt detector. <sighs> yeah. It's been a long day. That took hours. It was probably like a six or seven hour shift of 